So this is the Everglades. Great shiny weather over there. And then dead ahead of us is a massive rainstorm that I'm about to drive through. So, yep, it's always sunny outside of the Everglades. Well, just came across, this is a Florida box turtle that's working its way in the grass here. Oh, I can't tell if that's a female or a male, but we're just going to leave this be and we'll let the turtle go about its business. So that right there is a Cuban nightingale that's in the tree. First one of these I've seen in a long time, actually. He's way up there. So there's a possum that's climbing a tree right over here, which is something I, you don't really see that often. So yeah, there he goes. Oh, he's going down. I think he went on a little smaller tree than he was anticipating, but... Yeah. Little striped mud turtle on the side of the road, just working his way along. So, pretty cool. All right, everyone, I just found this is an island glass lizard. Um, he's a little lethargic because he was just being pecked at by a crow that was trying to kill it. So I probably saved this island glass lizard from being eaten, unless a crow is going to come back and just finish the job. But yeah, these are absolutely just stunning animals, and yeah, he's pretty beat up right now, so he's not really putting up any resistance, but I've been seeing crows eating a lot of serpents as of late and i say serpents because i think they're a combination of both snakes and lizards but yeah this is an island glass lizard he's still alive but looks like you can see he got pecked at the head there so if i put him down on the ground let's see what he does yeah you can see he's kind of alerted to our presence Yeah, hopefully this guy's going to survive, but it is nature, unfortunately. So that's the crow that was trying to eat the island glass lizard as he's now flying over there with his buddy. Um, it really sucks to see glass lizards getting eaten, but it's unfortunately it's just a part of nature. These guys, these crows got to eat too, but I let the island glass lizard go over here and he's since taken off and regained its strength. So tough break from the crows, but I'm sure they'll find something else to eat. Well, I think the crows might actually win this battle unless they've lost the glass lizard. But yeah, they're very intelligent and they know it's around here so give them credit for being persistent we'll see well this is like the second time i've seen this happen but here's a ribbon snake that has climbed up the side of a tree this mosquito on my thumb here and yeah just chilling from the side of this tree here why it's doing this i don't know but here's a ribbon snake on the side of a tree so right here curled up by the base of this tree is another baby eastern diamondback rattlesnake. This is like the fourth eastern diamondback I've seen in the last couple weeks, including DORs, I think it's like six. This one's a little darker pattern from the other ones I've seen. So yeah, this time of year, late September, early October, it's been really good for diamondback movement. Really awesome. All right, everyone, I just road cruised. This is a Florida cottonmouth that's on the road, and it's now clearly alerted to my presence and is, or was, moving off pretty quickly. Uh, it's after midnight right now. I don't think anyone's really going to be on the road, and this snake's pretty close to getting off of it, so we'll just let it be. Keep on going. Away it goes. Well, I decided to go out for a spontaneous road cruise, and the first snake of the night is a Florida cottonmouth. Nearly small one. Looks to be likely born this year. We'll let it be. Keep on going. All right, we have snake number two, and it's another baby cottonmouth. So here's a good, better look at the cottonmouth. And he's slithering along. Pretty cool. Well, we just got another cottonmouth. This one is not a baby. It's probably medium size. He's just slithering along the road right here. So three cottonmouths on the night so far. Most common snake in the Everglades. See if we can find anything else. Well, they're getting bigger. 
Here's our fourth cotton mouth, and it's easily the biggest one we've seen on the night so far. So, yep, just looking right at us. So four cotton mouths, off to a pretty good start. Well, this is our fifth cotton mouth on the night, and this might be one of the smallest cotton mouths I've ever seen. Definitely born this year. So yeah, we're still on our first pass, and we're getting all these snakes at once, so it's been a pretty snaky night so far, even if it's just cotton mouths. Well, we just got cotton mouth number six on the night, and it's another small one. So this guy actually just survived being hit by a car, which is pretty good. We'll make sure it gets off the road. Keep going, going. All right, we got another cotton mouth. I actually have lost count as to how many we've seen. I think this is like six or seven, but there it is right there. I think this is the seventh one. So it's been a great night for cotton mouths, but we're not seeing anything else. Well, we have a new snake on the road. It's a rat snake. I have not road cruised a rat snake. This is an Everglades rat snake, actually. Oh boy, he's all upset. Yeah, it definitely looks more like an Everglades rat because it has more of the orange coloration on it. Um, the yellow rat snakes are definitely more of the yellow color. And he is really just all agitated. So yeah, there he goes. Like he was never there. We have Cottonmouth number 8 on the night. And this is easily the biggest one of the night. I think this one's 3 to 4 feet long. Take a look at that head. It's a big animal, or a big cottonmouth, I should say. Eight cottonmouths and a rat snake, so almost at double digits, so good night. Got a Florida green water snake right here. That's a female. She's a little emaciated, but yeah, I have not seen one of these snakes in a hot minute. These are the largest water snakes in the world, the Florida green water snakes. The females can get almost six feet, and their girth is just so impressive, but yeah. Big Florida green water snake, our third species of snake on the night. So I think that's really awesome. Well, we have yet another cottonmouth on the night. And this one's getting all defensive. Tongue flicking. Hasn't mouth gaped yet, but there's a better look at it. So yeah, I think this is like our ninth cottonmouth on the night. Something like that. So we have... Yeah, I think our ninth cottonmouth, and we have 11 snakes with the rat and the um, Florida green. So, I think it's pretty cool. And we have cottonmouth number 10 on the night. This one's not the biggest cottonmouth that we've seen, but it's not the smallest either. I'd say it's about medium size, or just right. Young adult cottonmouth, 10th one of the night, and our 12th overall snake. Well, I had to straddle this guy, but successfully avoided hitting our 11th Florida Cottonmouth on the night. So yeah, a lot of Cottonmouths, 13 snakes so far. Pretty cool. All right, we got, I think this is our 12th Florida Cottonmouth of the night. This is up there as one of the biggest ones we've seen on the night. I don't think it's the same individual because we're on the other side of the road, but it's a big Cottonmouth nonetheless. Uh, we got some lights coming, so I'm just gonna let this snake be as it works its way into habitat. Well, oh, here is cottonmouth number 13 on the night. It's definitely been the night of the water moccasin. And again, not the biggest, not the smallest. I'd say about maybe a two-footer right there. We'll let it be. See what else we can find.